Good afternoon, everybody. Apologize for starting late. Normally, we don't have your attention. That's true. We want to be, I mean, everyone's attention. We want to be kind of breathing and volunteer. The reason that we have decided to do this today is to make sure that we continue to mobilize our base, uh, continue to work our base, and to let people know that we are the Central Ward and that we know that the Central Ward is the battleground, but we're going to send a message that any work as far as the Central Ward is going to be done, they're going to have to come through the Democratic Party. What do you all think about that? I don't hear nobody. So we want to let people know that we're going to be together. We're going to be strong in our efforts. We're going to work from today until the election is over, but we're tired of being disrespected as a group of people. And our organization does not just consist of district leaders, right? How many people are from senior buildings in here today? Every senior building just a message. Out. And the message that we're trying to send that we are going to be together, we're going to work together, and we're going to stay together. The most important message is that I'm sending is that I'm not going any place. That you know, people want to be disrespectful to me and the party. That's your position. That's your priority. We can all play that game and be tricky. But I'm going to work from today until the election is over to make sure whoever we decide to support, that one is going to support us, whoever is going to work with us, that's who we're going to work with. And I know that the Central Ward is an important ward. It has a great, important group of people. And we want to do together what, what cannot be accomplished alone. So are you all with me with that? Yeah. So, you know, a lot of people say, well, what is the, the surprise and what is the announcement? You know, are you running for council? You know, my philosophy is that's not a bad idea. I don't think that's a real bad idea about run. What about you? I don't know. I don't know. Um, I, I do have some commitments. I want to continue to meet with people that I have to give my commitment to. If, if they ain't talking right, if they ain't doing right, then I ain't going to have no choice but to run. So... We, we, we will make that decision at a later date. But the most important thing is the school board election that's coming up um, in April. And the greater important thing is uh, something that I've always wanted to do. Our, our team has said, well, outside of politics, wh what is it that you're going to try to accomplish? And one of the things that we wanted to do is try to put together something that a, a great mentor and friend of mine have been able to accomplish in the North Ward. And you all know Steve Adubato has the North Ward said, I think it's time for the Central Ward to have a Central Ward Educational Culture Center so we can create some jobs and some opportunities and do some great things for the people in our ward. How y'all feel about that? Yes. Yeah. Right. So basically today, you know, I, we, I, was, I, I was fear. Normally, um, coming from the organization that I come from, that whoever you support, that's who you support. You're not friends with them until the election is over. So I wanted, they have an opportunity for people to address us and to talk to us and for you to hear for yourselves. And then when the time comes, any decision that we need to make or have to make, they know that I just don't represent me. I represent all of you in this room and all in the other room and all throughout the world. So um, we invited some people here. Um, at this time, I'm going to have Reverend Levin B. West. You all know that he's not a stranger. Uh, to anybody in Central Ward, he was one of the, is the founder of Grace West Manor. Uh, I believe there's district number 12. He's been in the city for a long time. So let's put it up for my friend, my mentor, and brother, uh, the Honorable Reverend Levin B. West. I just finished talking to my wife, who's in Maryland in a nursing home. But I thought it would be robbery if I wasn't here tonight. Some of you all are wonderful. And some of you all gotta, some people gotta step aside so some of our young people can move forward. We don't need nobody that was born in St. Aloysius <laughs> running out a reception committee to go see those folks that were doing unkind things. And after the reception committee when it didn't make no difference whether we were Baptist, Methodist, Presbyterian, they had a new vision about living because they almost left themselves. 
we, we, we got to let people know we're not going to tolerate things in Newark That's right. if it ain't right. That's right. That's right, man. And we, and we got to stop arguing with each other. Don't know, none of us in this room know everything. But if we come together, white, black, brown, pink, and polka dot. I got some relatives that call and tell me they're coming tonight. I said, I just left town. <laughs> just left it. And another thing. Just because we, some of us see us talking to uh, this person, that person, we got a right to talk to who we want to talk to. Right, that's right. We've been talking to each other a long time, but some people don't want to talk to you unless they can use you. I mean, use you. The one thing I love about the chairman of the Central War, he what he is. Sometimes he come past the house and I say, let us pray. <laughs> but we got to work together. You see those young kids over there? If we don't do the right thing, That's right. it's going to be blood on our hands. That's hey, right. Let's give him a hand. We got to be proud. We got to be proud of our own. And I, I just want to thank you all. I want you to pray for my little wife been together 43 years. Some of the young folks can't stay together 20 days. <laughs> Some folks, they are right until they get in the office, then they get messy. Hmm? Come on now. Come on now. We need people candidates. And don't be running to the candidates every time you need something. You need to help them to do what they got to do. I see a neighbor. I see the I know. I remember when I testified for his father? Way he had. I mean, uh, Raz. Yeah, he was acquitted. Okay. He stood up and talked to him, Mama Amelia Baraka. He had to be innocent. Guess what? We walked out the door together. All right. <laughs> we always have to agree with one another, but we gotta work together. And we have a great chairman. And whatever you want to run for, we gonna be with him. I'm going to, I, I, the sheriff's officer put me on my beautiful suit. I touched me on my back, beautiful suit. Come on now. All right. How about baby? Good evening, everyone. We have our mayoral candidate, Amigo Ramos. He's going to come up and say a couple of words. He'll be running for mayor next year, 2014. I want to take this opportunity to thank uh, the great chairman of the Central Ward, uh, Bishop Spates, to all the district leaders that are here tonight, I especially want to thank you for coming out on uh, this very cold evening. Uh, but one thing I will tell you is that there's unity in strength. And as the bishop mentioned earlier, you know, the democratic part, uh, process and democratic organizations, the Central Ward right now, has a very, very unique opportunity within the city of Newark to build one of the city's most viable and impressive democratic organizations but that will only work if we stick together if we support the leadership and the leadership is our chairman uh, Bishop Spates uh, for me Aniva Ramos jr. you know I announced my candidacy for mayor more than five months ago and the Central Ward has been uh, very inspiring in my candidacy very supportive and the only way I'm going to be successful as a mayoral candidate is with the support of the people in this room. I want to be the mayor that represents every resident of this Together. community. I want to be interested in as a city in improving uh, the quality of life for our kids and building more economic development opportunities for our community that lead to more jobs. I want to be the mayor that focuses on building throughout the entire a city of North, whether we're talking about recreation, after school programs, services for seniors. We need to work together in order to move the great city of Newark forward. And I have a lot of respect for district leaders because at some point in my life, your advocacy happened because of your tireless work and happened because of your commitment to the democratic process and to democratic organizations. For me, it's been an honor. I'm not a newcomer when it comes to the Central Ward Democratic Organization. We've been working together for the last two and a half years on civic events, but more importantly, I'm taking care of things in the neighborhood. And I just want to say thank you so very much for your ongoing support. And to the chairman, to my great friend, uh, Reverend West, and to his lovely wife, my prayers are with her. I just want to say good evening. 
Thank you so much for being here, and let's work together to build a better city of Newark. Thank you very much. On tonight, we have Marquise, where my fellow board member. He'll be running for, I believe, council at large. Good evening. Uh, first, I want to give thanks to uh, Reverend Speed, who is the chairman of the Central Ward, for allowing us to come and uh, address you all on our candidacy. Um, in 2009, I ran for the school board as an independent. I uh, ran by myself, independent, and I won and became the youngest ever elected school board member in the state of New Jersey. Uh, my passion have always been the city. You know, me, I, never, I mean uh, it from the bottom of my heart that I love this city. I love this city like it's my blood, like it's running through my veins right now. I, I decided to run for councilman at large because I believe that it's time for some young energy with a new approach for some old issues. We need somebody to, in office to represent each one of us that can bring this city together as one. A young person who, who understands the importance of bringing all generations together. The importance of our city, the importance that we help our young people become the successful uh, young people that they need to be in life. And as councilman, I promise that I will never give up on this city. I will never give up on our young people. I will make sure that we create real uh, prison reentry programs that will bring our young people out of jail and reenter them into school. Bring our, our fathers out of jail and reenter them to a community to serve, not to reenter them into jail. We have a reentry program right now that's really reentering our, our men back into jail. It's not built to bring them out of jail and make them protective uh, role models for our children. But as councilman, I promise to make that a forefront because I believe that once we, we handle this, tackle this issue of violence our community, we cannot tackle it without dealing with the social issues that our community is dealing with. The lack of, of, of job employment we have to deal with. We have to have somebody who's willing to go out and fight for our young people. Someone to go out and really fight the city and make sure that my city, when I know we have people that's unemployed right here in the city of New we People say I'm too young, to, I'm too young, that's why I shouldn't run. Or they say I don't have enough education, that's why I shouldn't run. But we had a rural scholar and we had three lawyers with our city for the last seven years. And the state still had to come in and take over our finance department. We had, we had somebody who was a rural scholar and two lawyers on our city council, but we still have the highest uh, crime in the city of New York. We still have the highest unemployment in the state of New Jersey. And we have the most job high higher than us, somebody that don't look like us. And as councilmen, we have laws on books that we already go hold these businesses accountable for. They, they close to hire 40% of our residents. If they're not hiring 40% of our re residents, we got to pull them contracts. They didn't hold their bargain. I'm we going to take them to court. The fight for this. And I have the kahunas to fight for the residents of the city of North because I don't owe nobody but my God. Amen. The hope we need. All right.